we'll start with the mustard 71 uh, s71 salt water streamer size 4 I have uh, Dyneema tying thread uh, because this is with deer hair so we just attach the thread here and go back <coughs> and the body to there get rid of that <coughs> So what we need then is two grizzle hackle tips, same length, about two thirds of the length of the hook shank and we put these together and we flatten with flat nose uh, tweezers, we just squeeze hard and flatten the stems of the hackle so we can get them nicely attached on top of the hook shank like that. And we go over there. Just check that those are in position. Those, those are good. And we can go forward to about there. <clears throat> then we need some uh, hollow braid. This is silver. We just tie this in here with a couple of loose turns, and then we can pull that through. Tighten up and go to there, go forward, and we can wind this all the way back and then forward again, getting thicker as we get to the front so we get a little kind of cigar taper on the body there we are. that will do us nicely and just unwind that again don't need all that at the front go back and we tie that off and remove that we want that flat because we're going to put the wing in there go back to there we do exactly the same again with two broader grizzle hackles and flatten them with the tweezers again that's a bit too long I need to trim those off Make sure they're nice and flat like that. Position them. That'll do us over the stems again and go back that's good then we have a broader hackle grizzle hackle that we tie in here trim off that and then we can Put a hackle plier on there. And we want this as a soft tackle in front of the wing. Oops. On. I'll 
do is there. Just tie that off. Move the hackle plier. Fold everything back and then we can go over it so it becomes kind of a wing veiling like this. We need our first bunch of deer hair. Turn our fly sideways like that. This is for the collar. We hold that in position with that hand. We go over once, twice and then we tighten and then we can go through the hair with a few turns like that. We turn it over this way, take our second bunch for the collar, same length as the first bunch, hold it in position and come through there, tighten, go forward, in front of the hair, and then we'll give it a packing. Just to tighten stuff up. Then we need another bunch. Smaller this time. Tighten it. And then we can go forward. And pull as much hair as you can back. And then what I like to do is I spin my Dyneema clockwise to give it a round profile. And I go in with a couple of turns, tighten up, trim off the hair that we don't need. And take our whip finisher. Remove the tying thread and we need a toothbrush just to pull the hair out. And I've got a razor blade holder. This one's from uh, Stormfo. Very, very good, very easy to use. Back turn the fly around as you go. Stragglers. Cut on that side. everything up. A little bit there. I'll just take the scissors. A bit too much of that grizzle hackle there. And that's and that's it. That's the finished grizzly muddle and minnow. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.